Nearly 15 years in the fast food business, I, I, I could, if you could tell that some people treat you as a normal person, they see you're a, a hardworking employee, just like them for wherever they're employed out, and others, they come in and they think, oh, they don't look you in the eye, they don't talk to you, they don't, they don't respond when you ask them how well they're doing, they don't see you as a person, they see you as a fast food employee. In 2016, over 3 million people were employed in fast food jobs in America alone. These red-collar jobs, named so for the constant reappearance of red throughout fast food restaurants, are often mistreated and abused by their customers, looked down upon, and generally disrespected. What's your name, age, and occupation at Raising Cane's? My name is Catherine Turrentine. I'm 17. I'm a crew member. My name is Luis Salinas. I am 18. I am currently a kitchen. Aaron Martin, and I am a crew member. Evan Galvan, 28, shift manager, Raising Canes. How many hours a week do you work? Do you ever have to work overtime? 40 to 50. Overtime, yes. Most of the time I work overtime. But not that much. I usually do like um, about, let's see, four hours the most. That's what I've done. I'd say about half, half of my weekly schedule uh, is overtime. And it's never more than 10 hours per week. What do you have to do in your position at Canes? Make sure that everything is cooked to order. You know, make sure people get the quality food that they need. So I'm in charge of making sure the restaurant is flowing according to business. I'm in charge of making sure the crew members are doing their job, taking care of customers and keeping this place clean while having fun. Take care of customers, clean, and just be myself. Do you believe you deserve more or less respect than a construction worker or a small business owner? Neither. I, I believe the respect needs to be equal as a person. does not matter where you work. Uh, they need to understand that these are people doing a job just so I could be working in an exec vice president position downtown or I could be working for garbage truck business. Uh, I'm still clocking in working as an American citizen. So yes, I need equal respect. Have you ever hurt yourself on the job? Yes, I did. So. There was like, okay, so there was like seven people up front, or like line up front. I was in the way in the back where the lockers are, and I ran, and I fell on my butt, and my vision was distorted. After like five minutes, I was fine. Oh, countless times. My most recent injury was a slip and fall. Um, wet floor in the back, super smooth spot, high traffic area. Slipped, half my body hit the fryer. I was sore for about a week, but I was say okay. Do you have to interact with customers? Not a lot. No, not really. All the time. More than employees. Working kitchen, not that much, but let's say um, the front counter person is not there and you see people walking in, of course you need to greet them. Is your job hard? What's the hardest thing you've had to do while working? I'm on my feet the whole time. I rarely sit. Honestly, like since I got hired, my legs feel like toned. Just make food and keep up with everything that's going on around me. Keeping communication. As long as you keep communication, everything should be fine. Hardest thing I have to do while working as a shift manager, the hardest thing I have to do is solving problems that were unexpected mid-shift while taking care of customers. Hi. Do you believe you deserve more or less respect than an accountant, a lawyer, or a politician? I think I deserve equal respect among those. Uh, this is a restaurant. Uh, I mean, I know it sounds, you know, typically fast food, a, you know, basic job, teenagers, first job, you know, whatever, but at the end of the day, it's a restaurant. We have to, we're feeding people. We feed thousands of people per day. Uh, none of those people get food poisoning. Why? Because we do a great job. We take care of them. We're cooking. I feel that a restaurant job is very important.
How long have you worked at Raising Canes? Nearly two years, a year and a half at Canes. Late 2015. I worked here for about eight months. About, um, let's see, four months, and like, I like it. Do you have a college degree, or are you working towards getting one? Uh, I'm currently working towards one. I'm working towards getting one eventually. My daughter comes first, so right now I'm focusing on making sure she's got her education. Maybe one day I'll get a college degree. Do you feel your customers respect you for the work that you do? Everyone deserves respect. I give respect to them, they give respect to me. Sometimes, not always. Um, yeah, because, uh, you know, they're, I'm making their food. They think um, the food is, like, the best um, quality product they can get, so uh, that's why they come here. I'd say for the most part they do. The, of course, there's a handful of customers you can clearly see they don't. Um, but the customers do. You definitely uh, can, as a fat, with nearly 15 years in the fast food business, I, I, I could, you could tell that some people treat you as a normal person. They see you're a, you know, a hardworking employee just like them for wherever they're employed out. And others, they come in and they think, oh, they don't look you in the eye, they don't talk to you, they don't, they don't respond when you ask them how well they're doing. They don't see you as a person, they see you as a fast food employee. Have you ever missed out on an important event because you had to work? Yes, I have missed out on a few events. My brother's birthday. Oh, all kinds. I, I lost count. I could tell you a story for every month if I just sit back and think. All kinds of important events because of work. Do you support anyone? Uh, I'd say two. I do. I support one of them. One or two of them I, su I do support financially. Daughter and mother. Uh, my daughter's nine. My mother, man, I got to think. Somewhere between 50 and 60. Nope. She needs to retire. So she's still working? She's still working a bit. She does restaurant as well. She's getting uh, any restaurant she can. She's getting older though. She's doing the same thing as me except minus promotions. It's like, hey, that's how we do it. Do you feel that your friends and family respect the work that you do? Uh, actually, since it's a, how do you call it, um, a restaurant, fast food restaurant, they think it's like not a big deal, like, it's like nothing, but it's very hard work here, and I think they should respect it. Absolutely. All of them, all my friends and family respect what I do. I will say on occasion there are acquaintances who view you a little differently, similar to what I described as the customer respect aspect. There's a few times where they'll hear, oh, he's still working at that place? Oh, is he still working at that fast food place? And they don't say it, but you can catch it by the tone of their voice and you can clearly, you know what they're getting at. So there's a little respect that is not there. Do you think everyone needs to work a fast food job at some point in their lives? I really don't think that. I think whatever fits them the best. No, I don't, because it's not the hardest thing, but it can, it can show you a few things if you really wanted to. No, not everybody needs to. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who it didn't work out uh, for them in such a basic job environment, fast food. Uh, I don't think it's for everybody. I don't feel everybody needs to. The reason why, um, I mean, like I said, it's not for everybody. Some people aren't meant for restaurants. Some people are meant to be computer repairmen, mechanics, uh, doc, other things that just you're not, you should not be working in a restaurant. Have you learned anything working at Raising Canes? I've learned patience and I've learned how to multitask a lot better and manage my time. Communication. Obviously, communication is a big thing here. Respect also well. What most prominently comes up working at Canes, I learn how to really have fun on the job. I'm not gonna say the whole 40 to 50 hours a week is fun, but part of our job description and requirement at Canes is having fun, and I really did learn how to have a lot more fun at work versus my past job experiences, thanks to Canes. I learned a lot of new skills, like how to time manage. I'm better at cleaning now.
I'm a lot better at cleaning. Like, I clean my own bathroom at home. I can clean these two bathrooms. If I can clean the boys' bathroom, I can clean my own bathroom. If you could choose between this job or a job that paid exactly the same but was in retail or a small business, which would you choose and why? Uh, I'll still choose Raising Cane's because, you know, I'm really good at restaurants. I've been working here all my life and I really enjoy working here as well. I've actually had the opportunity, I've actually had the opportunity to make more money in retail or business and I chose not to because it's a completely different job environment. Retail places, a lot of times they will terminate you or they will, they will not like your work because you didn't sell enough items and it has nothing to do with your work ethic. Here, we have set tasks, we have a job to do and I'm very good at getting that job done every day no matter how many box combos I sell. I could sell one box or 1,000 of them. Job gets done and I enjoy my job. If you could say something to everyone who looks down on fast food workers, what would it be? Uh, be patient. Be patient, it's not as easy as it seems. Um, there's a lot of customers, a lot of people wanting different things at the same time. Don't be so demanding. It's not that easy. Um, we do spend all of our time. It's actually not much fast food. You actually have to marinate the, uh, the bird um, for quite a while and it takes time. So there's much work behind it. And just like to let people know, it's just not that easy. It, it's a lot of work behind it. I say everyone works hard for their jobs. You know, everyone deserves respect. What would I say to everybody who looks down on fast food workers? I would say, well, you don't always know the story, you don't always know the history, uh, you don't know what anybody's going through, you don't know why they're working there. Uh, some people have no idea the opportunities you have in operations manager or general manager opportunities with no college degree. You're talking up to six figures, maybe a hundred thousand plus salary annually per year in just a fast food joint and with no college degree. Uh, there's a lot more to it that people do not understand an opportunity in fast food. It's all there, you just gotta look harder.